just covered in druzy. Just a really awesome piece. Never found anything like this before at the Crater of Diamonds. Wow, that looks like a diamond right there. There it is under the microscope. Welcome back to another video, miners, prospectors, and rock lovers. It's always good to see each and every one of you. We're gonna go dig where a lot of one carrots have been found. So I hope you stick around. And if you like what you see, I hope you subscribe to Decide. I mean, I hope you decide to subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and drop a thumbs up. All right, we're gonna get down and get dirty. Yeah, we're gonna be going for some gravel that's really rich i mean there's been several one carrots pulled out of this stuff half carrots just about everybody that digs in this stuff gets really nice diamonds so hopefully we can succeed and see some diamonds looks like they got the field plowed up pretty good we got a new road going to the east drain which helps a lot makes it easy for us to get to our cages that we pay a lot of money for you know we're paying a lot of money for those cages and it's nice to be able to have a road to get to it and not wear out our wagons thank you crater diamonds for putting in this road we appreciate it it's about 8 15 we've already got this much done so this is where we're working today i brought the uh, special tool to rip up the material once we get down to it plus this helps get the hole dug say hello to the destroyer this thing can rip some ground these are about a foot and a half long it's just taking chunks out of the uh, ground so it really helps while we're digging in the ground all right it's about 8 30 this is where we're at almost to the gravel there's hurricane harden and this is his first time to dig with me i think it's his first time ever to be out here first time yep he's a first timer Whew, we've been at it for a good 30 minutes we're almost to the gravel and it is definitely time for a safety meeting pretty hard it's about 10 minutes till 10 o'clock I can walk right down in here and I can walk right out if I had to so there's nothing wrong with this hole and we are at the gravel taking a break from digging that huge hole you always got to stop and get a breather I notice a lot of trash laying right here in this snake pit area come on if you're gonna bring something out here take it with you I get tired of picking up people's trash. Dumpsters out of every pavilion, pretty much, at the wash station. They got them just right up around this corner. There's an orange trash can. You can throw this stuff away. I mean, I walked over here, and there's trash all up along this tree line. Look at all this. Plastic bottles. I mean, if I had time, I would pick all this stuff up. That's all I'm asking. If you bring it in, haul it out. Or go throw it away at the dumpsters that the crater diamond provides keep the park nice and clean for everybody else this is why you don't want to walk barefooted out here stuff like this it'll ruin your trip if not send you to the hospital you got it i'm talking to you those people who leave this trash i'm not talking to you that don't litter Good luck. 
Thanks, man. You too, thanks. Yeah. Well, if she wouldn't go up there and tell him anything, then there wouldn't be no problem. But because she's going to go up there and run her mouth, there's going to be a problem. That's okay. Just as long as I can get the gravel out. As long as we can get all this on film, I'm good. I'll be able to pay the ticket. <laughs> Give me a million views, I'll be happy. <laughs> we gotta have some way to pay for that ticket. <laughs> they act like we're selling cocaine or something out here. Right? I got, I got the grub, man. I know, but you want me to get down and start filling them up? Just uh, square. No, just take the. Try not to hit the gravel. Just clean. Clean up, up around it. Okay. Yeah, clean up what's that's sticky. On the top. You better keep sloping this up, though. No, or it don't matter. I don't. Because even if we do it perfect, it still ain't good enough. It depends, yeah, it's never been good enough. Never has been good enough. They say you just got to be able to walk out of it. Walk out of it one way. Yeah. But we're gonna make up whatever rules. Call Matt. Does she got a phone on her? Probably. I may throw a little bit down in there, but we gotta get this a little more. Also, you know. That seems pretty easy. I mean, I don't gotta use my hands or nothing. I said we get five buckets each, we get five buckets each, dude. All right, pretty much walk out of that. Oh, yeah. That's about four feet from the... Morning. 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 How are y'all? Fine, how are you? Uh, pretty good. Tired. Yeah. <laughs> about the four foot mark. Trying to get to where we can walk out right here. I mean, that's what I want. Yeah, it's gotta be stepped out. Yes, ma'am. Looking good, huh? See y'all later. <sighs> Not gonna help us dig? Dang. <laughs> I got him extra. good for me. We'll give you some diamonds. I got an extra shovel. <laughs> we'll give you all the big ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on the slope here. <laughs> You guys aren't the only naughty ones. The lady up there got told she can't use a flashlight. Oh no, yeah, no flashlight, yeah, no electronic. Yeah, she electronic. I can understand, I can understand motorized, but flashlight. Yeah, no diamond, no diamond testers or nothing electronic or all manual. Okay, we just got to the gravel and we just had a visit by the Crater of Diamond State Park. They checked it out. Looking good. Or... Can't tell yet. Not much gravel yet. You can hear it. Yeah, it's just fluffy down to it. Here's your next bucket up there.
getting crunchy. This one was yours here, you just filled up. Yeah. Don't matter. It was. Good. Yeah, Red I Jasper. Forgot, I forgot to put mine over. Hey. Yeah, cool. Red Jasper. All right, here you go. It's, uh, that was just your bucket. No, I forgot to carry mine over there. Okay, I'm down here in the hole. Not a lot of gravel just poking out everywhere, but that doesn't mean that there's not gonna be diamonds in this stuff. Sometimes this is the best stuff to get. Here's what we got out of the hole so far. It's looking pretty good. Mmm, don't that look yummy? All right, we're doing good. Several buckets out of the hole. Gravel still coming out. We're able to walk in and out of this thing, no problem. Yeah, I felt good in the video. That's so nice. Daniel, I've been doing this right here. Look, one, look two. All right. <laughs> I got some of this graham cracker crumble over here. Like that big. <laughs> Do you hear me? Yeah, Stuart. And her eyes rolling back of her head. Did you see that? No. <laughs> I don't know why, but today's gonna be a great day. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> hey, don't forget this. Or we want to save that. Dude, I matter. got a slap board, dude. You can throw it towards the top. Don't matter. Yeah, it'll be there. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll <laughs> It's going the right direction, but it's not too close. It's kind of perfect. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you want us to get to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we'll be heading that's this way. That's pretty much cleaned out right there, yeah. Yeah. what your mother said last night, Trebek. It's always good to have a bucket of water when you're digging. You got water to clean up, get your tools clean, get your gloves cleaned off. All right, looks like we got the hole filled in. It's about 1:30. Every bit of 1:30. Okay, time to get the buckets hauled up to the cage. Won't be any time to get any of this washed. This spot is known for big diamonds. Whew, I am out of breath. Working on getting the buckets. Get them stored. Been a slow drizzle all day. 
everybody's soaking wet but it doesn't matter Okay, well, that's a day here at the Crater Diamonds. We got the buckets in the cage. Next thing to do is come out here, get everything washed. We got the hole filled in. All within three o'clock is a good day out here. I even picked up some trash. You can see the steam coming off the gravel. See that? Okay, here's bucket number one. Just covered in red jasper. Look at this piece of agate. Druzy, all the small crystals formed on it. It's really cool. Seeing all the indicators. And this red jasper. More red jasper. Here's the piece of conglomerate. Anytime you dig a hole, you want to see all these indicators. Conglomerate. Jasper that's fractured. You don't want it to be completely rounded and not broken. Yeah, we're gonna dump all this material in a bucket and go through it later. There could be a big diamond in this stuff. Okay, you can see here, as the jasper dries, it's got a slightly bleach to it, but not really. Nothing compared to what you can find out here that's just white and just bleaching out, everything turning white. Check this out, what in the world? Wow. Yep, quartz. That right there will tell you it's quartz. Washed quartz, what we call this. There's another nice rounded washed. Okay, get the bottom screen all cleaned. And I bounce it really good, so we're not looking at the heavies. I'll have to do this to see all the heavies, because they're at the bottom. And this thing is loaded. Lots of ramen noodle. Oh man, this stuff is, look at all this stuff over here. Whoa. Wow. I don't see much spinel. There's some spinel. Yeah, we got spinel. Yep, looks pretty good. 
Okay, got bucket number two washed. Check out these corks that showed up. Good indicator. And chunks like that. Awesome. That's the difference from the corks. You can just see the jagged edges and the facets. They're not rounded and smooth like the diamonds. They're sharp and rough. Yeah, we are seeing all the indicators in every bucket. Got this huge chunk of conglomerate right here. It's all the jasper fused together. More red jasper. Red jasper all in the stuff. We even have sandstone. That's good. Okay, here's bucket number four. Here's that huge chunk of jasper all cleaned up. Looks like we had two conglomerates. Here's the bigger conglomerate. That's a really good indicator because it's super heavy. We may have a diamond with this bucket. Okay, here's bucket number five. It's loaded in red jasper. It's just everywhere. That's the best jasper to get. It's coated with iron. This one here has purplish tint to it. Here's a piece of agate. Ooh, look at that. Quartz in every bucket. Okay, I was picking out the quartz we just looked at and digging around and check out that piece of agate. That's really cool. Awesome. <laughs> this one right here is really interesting. It's gonna be agate. You can see right there. So we're gonna get this washed up with a brush and check it out. Here's a better look at that specimen that came out of the hole. We're thinking it's a piece of agate that's been completely crystallized. It's a full of druze right there, the druzy. It's got pockets just covered in druzy. Just a really awesome piece. Never found anything like this before at the Crater of Diamonds. Definitely going to save this one for my collection. If I found these every day, I would probably give it away. But it's a one-of-a-kind piece. Looks like I have a little bit of mud right in there I can dig out. Other than that, it cleaned up pretty good. Why do we think it's agate is because of this right here. That's the only indicator. The rest of it, very, very unusual. And this is material that could have came from 120 miles below the surface, just like the diamonds. So this could be some rare new mineral that nobody knows about. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, I believe that's bucket number six. We got some quartz. Real nice quartz. Right there. Agate. Here's a piece of agate. It's going to go into the container. Throw that piece of quartz in there. Seems like I saw another piece of agate. Oh, right here. You're gonna get that big chunk as well. 
So be sure and leave a comment and you're entered to win. I'll announce the winner on my Facebook page, Diamond Miner Ivans. And that makes another piece of quartz added to the pile of rocks that I'm going to give away to one lucky commenter. Oh, I didn't lose any. Getting quite a few stuff. We got agate in there, wash quartz, barite. Let's see if we can find something else to throw in there. So yeah, just leave a comment and somebody will win all the small heavy minerals I'm picking out. I was just about to dump this pile and I found one more piece of agate we can add to the pile. Sweet. That is so cool. Okay, Let's see if it'll fit. All right, the container is full. So be sure and leave a comment, subscribe, and somebody will win all these goodies. Okay, I made four flips. Got one more to go. When you have this much gravel, you definitely wanna to, want to recenter all of this and just keep recentering this material from a hole. Cause let me just look at all that gravel. Look at all the heavy indicators. Wow. That looks like a diamond right there. Okay, here's the first flip. Lots of heavy minerals. Things loaded with spinel. All the small black shiny rock. Let me know if you see a diamond. Wow, this stuff is amazing. Right, here's flip number three in dead center we got a really nice garnet you can see it right there tip of my finger so you if you're finding garnets you could get a diamond it's a really heavy indicator that's a nice one there Right here is a beautiful garnet. Right there my finger is. Kind of buried. There we go, now, now you can see it pretty good. It's just right there above my fingernail. red nice and red i'm gonna scoop this little garnet out and put it in the container for somebody to win so somebody will win that small garnet along with that huge huge piece of quartz crystal and all the other little goodies I got it in my hand. So yeah, I'm gonna throw that little garnet in with the giveaway. All right, going through the material on the tray. Sorry for that noise, it's my heater. And right there, we have a diamond. I'm gonna let you take a look and see if you can spot it first. Right there in the center. Sweet. So we got a diamond out of all that hard work. Now we got to take it back up to the crater diamonds and have them take a look at it and get the certification card. This will be diamond 44. And see how it's got that metallic shine right there that's what we look for is that right there that's a facet 
naturally faceted by God. And this side here, it's all chewed up from the temperature since it got over 4,000 degrees in this area. Most of the diamonds melted to nothing. So this diamond here at one time could have been a one carat or at least a half carat and it melted down to this size. So let's go get it registered. Oh, right there, that's a perfect example of what we look for, that metallic shine right there. Sweet. Okay, so it looks like it turned out to be a white 18 point. There it is under the microscope. Let's take a look at it on the big screen. Let's really see the facets and really what color it actually is. And here's all the small minerals I have found that I'll be giving away. There's the washed quartz we found. Here's the really good one, good example of washed quartz. Here's the other big one. And then, for some reason, I didn't get the footage of this one here on the top classifier. But check that chunk of quartz crystal. That's the biggest piece of quartz I've ever found at the Crater of Diamonds. It's got some small facets on it right there. Really rare to find that and it came about seven feet below the surface. And I'll be giving this away along with all of this to one lucky subscriber. Here's the piece of agate. That's the barite. There's some more agate, cool piece of jasper. Here's a small piece of conglomerate that was in the container. Really hard to find those. Let's get this video up to 2,000 likes and I'll give all of this away to one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment. And of course, all this stuff has dried so you can get it wet. And it'll look pretty again. You can see the blue coming out of that barite. Here's that washed quartz. Really shiny now. Oh wait, that's a diamond. Holy crap. No, it's not. And the agate looks really cool when it's wet. And sometimes you can just spit on it. So once again, thank you all for watching the video. Thanks for all the comments, all the views here lately. I can't thank you all enough. I wish I could get to everybody's comment, but here lately I've had someone slandering me all over social media, so I have to keep my comments to a minimum so I can see the negatives and get them deleted because it's all negative and slandering and it's just false information. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.